Welcome back. You may have first heard about constables and what they do surrounding the eviction moratorium during the COVID pandemic, but they do much more than that. We're getting more insight into the constable's office today in Behind the Badge with Sergeant Alejandra Sombrano and Constable Sergeant Tony Longo. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you for having us, Alyssa. You know, this is such an important topic, specifically because when people are calling 311 or 911 where they may think that they're needing police response. Uh, it may not be in our wheelhouse. Mm. So we have community partners such as the constables that help us out in certain aspects of our job. Okay, mm -hmm. and would 311 still be the right number to call if you don't know whether you need a police response or a constable? And you can always call 311 or the Office of Public Information for any information. We're here to help. But um, that's why I have Sergeant Longo here, who's going to explain a little bit about his department. Yeah, okay, so Sergeant Longo, tell us when we need the assistance of the constable's office, and what exactly do you guys do? The, the constable's office is a, uh, it's a county-run office, um, but it's, uh, it's different, and things have changed recently in, in the last 10 years with that office. Um, since 2015, uh, the office has now fallen under the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, managed and operated by that police department. So my supervisor is a captain with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Okay. Uh, however, our deputy constables are police officers. Uh, they have the same police powers as a patrol police officer that work in the streets. However, our role uh, is different. Our responsibilities are different. Um, our jobs are to conduct the evictions in the valley uh, also, there is civil paperwork that we also uh, are involved in, in in process, but that's what our roles and responsibilities are. And yet, can we make an arrest? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do we need to? Um, uh, at times, it's uh, few and far between. Okay. But our main job is to do the evictions in the valley. Okay. You also mentioned some civil paperwork. What what sorts of um, civil it's, paperwork? It's similar to a, a license process server. Uh, there's uh, small claims. There's summonses, uh, writs of garnishment. Uh, um, the demand letters, there's the same thing in regards to the services that a, pri um, a process server would provide. The Las Vegas Constable's Office does the same as well. Okay, so if we see you on the street and your, your uniforms look very similar and is that because you're now fallen under Metro, uh, under that umbrella or has it always been this similar? Well, the, the uniforms uh, uh, might have changed similarly but we have always been in a uniform. Okay. Uh, we're, um, you have to be a police officer to do an eviction in the state of Nevada, in Clark County. Okay. So uh, you, we've got to look the part, we've got the same equipment as such, and, and so uh, our duties, and, well, even though our duties and responsibilities are different um, as police officers, we still go out there and we have to do the job that we do in the function of an officer. Okay, and then do you also deal with abandoned vehicles? We do. Uh, that's, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. That is a, a part of our office. The abandoned vehicles or vehicles that are stored on the roadway, um, that is a problem that's uh, large in the valley. Mm. It used to be where the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department um, took that upon themselves, but it's, uh, it, there's a lot to that, and they've got other responsibilities. So that has now fallen on in our office, and we have deputies specifically assigned to address that and deal with those. Okay, and I'm sure our very own Ken Smith sees that very often on his traffic cameras, and we're actually going to him next. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ken.